Hi everybody, Creocoat is an alternative to creosote, which was a product very popular 20, 30, 40 years ago for preserving wood, uh, for treating fence panel posts, and for also bringing out the grain and the knots in timber work in a garden. It was an extremely popular product, but it's actually now banned and you can no longer buy it for domestic uses in the UK. In today's short video, I'm gonna try and answer a few common questions that I've heard over the years about this alternative, that is the Creocoat product. But first, this is what a fence panel looks like that's been treated with Creocoat. Now this is after just one coat. Uh, on the left of the panel, uh, you can see what the color looks like with the dark version of Creocoat. On the right hand side of the panel, well this is the lighter version after just one coat. Now here's what that fence panel looks like after two coats. And here's what it looks like after three coats. So as you can see, Creocoat brings out the grain and the knots in the timber. It doesn't mask it and cover it like some fence panel paints do. And on really expensive, good quality timber, it can make that timber look really, really exquisite. However, before you go off and buy Creocoat, here are five things that I think that you need to know. And this is based on my experience of using this product on and off for the last 15 years. Okay, first off, it doesn't have the same wood preserving qualities and ingredients as the original Creosote. That's why that product was banned, because whenever it rained, it would leach those chemicals into the ground and it was harmful to the environment. So it doesn't have the same wood preserving um, products in the liquid. Also, it doesn't have any dedicated insecticides in there as well. The original one was great at keeping out boring insects. They just weren't interested in the timber at all. There is nothing in Creocoat that was designed to stop wood boring insects. Obviously, they may not like this product, but there isn't any specific insecticide in there. So in short, it's probably not going to be as good at keeping insects out of the timber as the original Creosote was. Okay, tip number three is this stuff still smells. <laughs> the original product really honked. It had quite a distinctive smell to it. This one smells a bit more like diesel. If you imagine the smell of diesel, that's pretty much what Creocoat smells like. Okay, the surface of your fence panels or your posts will remain oily for many months after applying the product. On the fence panel that you're seeing here, I left this behind my garage for seven months and it was still greasy and oily to the touch. So this means this isn't a product that you'd want to use on surfaces that come into regular contact with the skin. Certainly not anything like decking, maybe handrails you might need to be a little bit careful with, certainly not anywhere where food is prepared or anything like that. Okay, finally, this stuff is really, really runny. And when I say that, I mean that. If you were to put this on with a sprayer, it's likely to run everywhere. You'd have to be very, very careful. Even with a brush, I did find that it was running off of the fence panel, even though I was being very careful. I did try it with a foam roller and just putting it on a little bit at a time, and that gave the best results. It was nice and consistent color stain, and also it didn't run everywhere. So there's a sort of final little tip for you there. So in summary, and in my opinion, I think Creocoat is a good alternative to Creosote. It's just not as versatile. You still get that same color finish. Brings out the knots, brings out the grains. It looks lovely, but it's just not as versatile as the original Creosote product. So that's it, folks. I hope that you enjoyed this short video from myself, Daniel. If you want more information about this product, I will put a link in the video description and that will lead through to my website where I've done a whole write-up about the pros and cons of using Creocoat in your garden. So look, thanks again for watching. Uh, do hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and do subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me and from Doogie on the channel here at DIY Gardening. All the best.